today. I, I just think what I really wanted to be passionate to talk about, this is almost a talk about the personnel as my cats, but instead we are talking about maps. So <laughs> maps are flat. They are pieces of paper or they are computer screens, but they are just two dimensional. The earth is not two dimensional. Um, the earth is not round. Uh, the earth is not elliptical. The earth is a shape that is called a geoid, which the definition of, of a geoid is a earth-shaped object. Um, <laughs> but basically, earth is a spheroid, like it's a ellipsoid. It is like a, a squished circle that is heavier on the bottom than the top, like a pear. Um, the difference in size is about is not huge on the uh, between the uh, the two axes. It's uh, maybe a kilometer, I think. I'm just pulling these numbers out somewhere, but basically, it does mean that you actually weigh less on the North Pole, or the equator. You weigh less at one of them. Um, <laughs> but if you've ever tried to uh, peel an orange and then put that flat onto a table. Spoiler alert, you can't. So uh, a big thing with maps is that um, to represent large sections of the Earth in a flat medium, you have to make trade-offs. Um, this is a lot of one of the things that people, lay people know about maps is that West Wing episode about cheese where they talk about cartographers for social change, where the, the Mercator projection uh, is one that's very common and um, it is arguably racist. It is also very, very useful. But the key thing about it is that um, it preserves shapes, which is great when you have a map because it means that the countries look like, the islands of the countries look like they're supposed to. It also preserves angles um, so that if you're in Norway and you're at an intersection, it'll be the angles of the streets will be accurately uh, represented. Uh, this is also why it was uh, big in the age of sail, uh, because you could do lines, compass bearings on it. And the uh, directions is why Google Maps uses it. This is why that if you ever try to do a um, comparing countries of the world on Google Maps, cartographers will judge you because it makes Germany look much bigger than, you know, African countries. And it makes Greenland look the same size as Africa, even though Greenland is not the size of Africa. Um, but it gets down to the, the tricky thing with projection of maps is that basically angle, size, shape, direction, a couple others, you can pick like two or three, but you cannot get them all. It's been mathematically proven. So how, what's the best way to, to, uh, to represent a globe on, um, on a flat surface? Well, that's a good question. And that really depends on what you want to use it for, which is an answer nobody ever wants to hear. But Mercator, especially the version that uh, Google uses, which is like, you know what? What if we pretend that the Earth is a sphere? Does, will anybody care for using web maps? No, we don't. Where Google Maps and OpenStreetMap and all of those things, they work fantastic pretending that the Earth is a sphere. Uh, you know, you have uh, other things where that's not a case, and for those, you do not use Web Mercator, which is what it's called. Um, one that, you know, a lot of us, one of the issues, though, is that um, you have a lot of legacy types of projections that date back to when you had to do this stuff on pencils and paper. And um, pretending that the Earth is a cylinder and, um, and doing math related to that, that is not easy without a calculator. Um, there's a lot of logarithms and, no, no, there's sines and cosines and I think there may be some logs, I don't know. Um, that's hard to do. So a lot of, what, the state of Massachusetts um, 
stores all of its data in what they call Massachusetts state meters. And um, state of New York, there's, uh, well, there's about, um, I think, 200 different zones in America, and each one has its own little projection. And there's a, uh, they use something called Lambert uh, for, uh, for states that are wide and short, and they use something that's called uh, transverse Mercator, which pretends the Earth is a cylinder for long and thin states, and it uses something called oblique Mercator for the Alaskan Panhandle because you can't have nice things. And <laughs> it's a big, uh, it's a big, uh, complicated mess. And uh, I hope you don't ever have to deal with it. But if you do, the uh, <laughs> the European Petroleum Survey Group has healthily cataloged all the thousands of different ways of people uh, turning spheres and spheroids into uh, maps in a big XML file. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.